Today we got a little bit of a mystery to solve, and I was pretty frustrated at first. But before we talk about that, if you're going for the Serpent event, you only need 1500 points, and there's a total available of 1750. So in this deck of fate, there's 200. If you've been on track with everything so far, and you plan to continue to be on track and get everything done, you don't actually have to do this deck of fate at all. There's 200 points available, it's still going to leave you with 1550 total, so technically you could miss an extra 50. But I personally going to go for this because I don't like living life on the edge, I would definitely miss it. With this event, first thing I do when I open it up is look at the rewards. The rewards, super solid. The only way to get these accessories is from Hydra Clash Victories, which is difficult enough as it is, so getting these is very valuable if you can max it out. Awesome setups for stone skin, nukers in the arena, some nine piece protection champions for various different areas. But honestly, having three piece protection at the bottom is one of the best ways, as in the as in the accessory slots, not like the uh, bottom row of the artifacts. But having three piece accessories is one of the best ways to get higher speeds on your champions because now you're getting speed where you otherwise couldn't have, which is from the three pieces of accessories actually matching. The three piece bonus for protection is some extra speed. So keep that in mind, it's a very solid thing to have. But then, this is where the frustration kicked in. I scrolled to the bottom, and I saw the points listed down here. And I was thinking, these seem very low. I thought that for champion training, we got double the points of a typical champion training event. Now if I come over to my champion training calculator, which is just a screenshot of champion normal champion training events, you can see that six points for upgrading the level of a rank 5 champion is the same as 6 points for upgrading their levels of a rank 5 champion in this deck of fate. So the points are exactly the same. And then I watched some of Nub's video, which the top pin comment was basically echoing what I was thinking, which is what a terrible event in terms of points. We normally get 7.5k for big stones, 1500 for medium stones. The champion training is also bad. It seems to be half of what we'd normally get. They know people want to do it for the accessories, so they made the points even harder to come by. So, to give Plarium, like, you know, a little bit of a little bit of feedback on their event, I set out on a mission to show that the points were absolutely horrible. But I found something a little bit different. So, I was looking back to previous Deck of Fates. This is a video by Consistency, and the points there were exactly the same. What is this, the Mandela effect? How am I misremembering this? So for rank six, 300 points, exactly the same there. Rank five, 100 points, exactly the same there. This was for shard pools though, so I can't compare that for the actual soul stones. Now with that, I set on a mission to find deck of fates that had soul stones involved. For some reason, I literally couldn't find that. So if you guys can find that for me, let me know. But I think I know what the issue here is. So this is a video from Boozer. And he shows the champion training points for Deck of Fate at 385. The rank 6 level up is 10 points. So, wait, am I not? Okay, I am subscribed, making sure. Uh, so, there's a 20% decrease from that Deck of Fate to this current Deck of Fate, which was 10 months ago. So, a 20% essentially increase in total points is what we're going to require to get. Not good, but it's not the, you know, double, or double the point difference, essentially. 20% is 20%. Definitely not great. But it's not the same rage inducing that, you know, having the points would be or a 7,500 point drop down to a 5,000 point drop. That's a little bit crazy. But let's continue looking through this stuff. So in this video from Saf, we have some eternal soul stones. There we go. The 7,500 points that I was pretty sure the commenter was correct about and the double the champion training points. That's what I was looking for. However, this is for a hero's path. And this is where my entire, you know, I guess fallacy at the beginning was completely wrong. So what I was remembering and what I believe this commenter was remembering are hero path events. So when we're looking at hero path events versus deck of fates, there's a big, big difference. So for heroes path events, the Elatrion one, for example, it's the only one I can think of with soul stones involved. Whereas I couldn't find a single deck of fate with soul stones. Maybe there was, but I literally couldn't find it. Searching up Soulstone Deck of Fates. I pulled all my souls for this Deck of Fate. Anything I could find with keywords on YouTube, couldn't find it. Maybe I'm just not a good search engine user. But for the Elatrion event, 107,000 points is what Saf said was needed efficiently to get Elatrion. So I just found some clips from this video. Elatrion, 107,000 points is what I used. Wherever this, whatever this clip was at, but that's what it said. So what I did 
was, okay, 107,000 points for a Latreon, which is probably the reward you would be going for, at least. There's tons more potential rewards, like a soul, all that kind of stuff. But we're just going to compare the 107,000 points needed for that to the 40,000 points needed in the current deck event. Now, for the soul stones, they're worth 7,500 points. In order to get the 107,000 points, you would needed to have pulled 14 eternal soul stones. Now, the five-star level upgrades were worth 13 points. But like I said, 14 eternal soul stones. Now, eternal soul stones are typically what? 14 times, say $25. So $350 at least, somewhere around there, maybe. So for the current deck of fate at 40,000 points, a soul stone being worth 5,000, that means the five-star level upgrades are worth six points each, which I was a little bit disappointed about. I think actually incorrectly so. And the eternal soul stones needed would be eight. So you need eight eternal soul stones, which if we were to just convert that over to dollars based on playrooms pricing, it's 200. You can see the difference here. Eight versus 14, it's almost half of the requirement. So essentially, while this event feels like it is inflated with the points, I don't actually think it is. I think it's actually a normal event points. So if you're considering going for this, what you're going to need to look at this as is essentially champion training, normal champion training, exactly vanilla normal champion training, same points. So if you could get 40,000 points there, fantastic. Or if you have, say, four soul stones, you can get 20,000 points from that. You can go ahead and say, okay, now I only need 20,000 points from champion training. I can hit those numbers, no problem. Or if you're somebody like, okay, I have enough soul stones to actually get, you know, say 30,000 points. Well, now I need 10,000 from champion training. So honestly, this event doesn't seem to be too bad. The Immortal Soul Stones in this event are worth not a ton. Let's see, a thousand points. Whereas when you look at a Hero's Path event, you can see that Eternal Soul Stones are worth quite a bit, right? Let's see if Saf has the picture of how much they're actually worth. I don't know if it does. I probably already had it picked up earlier. There we go. Pretty so much. Eternal Soul Stones 1500. Actually, this event is better because if you look at 1,000 points compared to 40,000 points versus 1,500 points compared to, what, 110,000 points for a Latreon Soul, you can see that the percentage impact of 1,000 versus 40,000 is vastly different than 1,500 compared to 110,000. I don't know the exact percentages there. I could do the math, but to be honest, it doesn't even need to be done. It is such a huge difference. A 1,500 points for an Immortal Soul Stone is horrible when you consider the six-star champion reward is requiring you to get 107,000 points. Just some food for thought there. I'm not trying to defend Plarium in the pricing, by the way, but I do think it's fair that if the pricing isn't actually as off as what I originally expected, and if I had the intention of flaming Plarium in this video, but if I found out that my original ideas for this event were actually off base and incorrect, then I think it's fair for me to share those same thoughts in the video that I was gonna make, Flaming Playroom instead. Now with this event, like I said, you can finish it early. You could finish it in the first 10 card pulls, or you could go all the way to 40. Plan to go for 40, but honestly, it's not that bad. It's much better than what I originally thought. I just had to see some comparisons to previous events. Now, ultimately, it's still about 20% more expensive than events that were done 10 months ago, but the video from Consistency three months ago, it's exactly the same. So honestly, as far as the champion training goes, so honestly, with the, with, with the rewards, with the scaling of like resources you can get in the game, I don't think a 20% increase, while it's not great, I don't think it's necessarily horrible. I don't think this is a bad event, honestly. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, all your, hopefully not dislikes <laughs> down below. Don't dislike the video, guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that kind of good stuff. Thank you all very much for watching, but let me know if you're actually going for this event. Did this change your perception on it whatsoever? I know it did for me. I was initially pretty frustrated and pretty upset. Like, why would they do this? It's ridiculous, but it's actually not. I was wrong. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this shed some light on that. Thank you all for watching. I will open up some eternal soul stones, but what I'll do is I'll probably convert all, all two of these, maybe three. So three of these, Let's say if I if I can get an extra couple hundred points from here, I do have some events to finish out, but I'll finish that, and then I'll get the 5,000 from there. So we'll get 5,000, and then 15,000, so I'll be at 20,000, and then this will be maybe 10,000, so 30,000, and maybe 10,000 from champion training. I think the immortals are worth 500 points each, right? I'm pretty sure it's what they are. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're worth less. 
no, 100, 100 points. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna be pretty bad, actually. So 100 points each. I may not even open those up. I may open enough to get, uh, can't quite get another eternal or another immortal soul stone very easily, unfortunately. So I probably won't even do that. Um, if I can get any eternal or immortal soul stones from events, that's what I'll be doing. So I'll pick up my stuff there. I'll do a video soon on the openings, but I wanted to share this video with you guys in case you were deciding to or to not go for this event. One, you don't have to. If you're on track, you're good to go. You ain't got to worry about it. But if you're not on track, then you do need to worry about it. And just for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and open up one Sacred Shard Plarium since I'm advocating for you. Give me a legendary. Okay, I take everything I said back, guys. This event is horrible. I wish I would have got a Lego. Either way, thank you all for watching. Appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next one.